Take a look at this endgame from Carlson Neiman in round three of the Singfeld Cup. So the only way for Carlson to draw here is to go bishop takes c4, rook takes c4, going into the rook endgame, and then getting very serious counterplay using the f-pawn. So in the analysis, it was assumed by Neiman that this was just simply winning. But there's a very nice idea by White to get a ton of counterplay and draw the game. The correct idea is rook to b8, only move, b5, rook to b6, cutting off the king, and now the plan is just to simply go king to d2, king to e3, king f4, might even combine that with h4, h5, and then f6 check. So in this position, after, let's say, rook takes, king to d2, rook a4 to try to push, b4 and a5, now I can simply play, let's say I go here, h5, h4, b4, now I can just go king f4, a5, king g5, now the counterplay is actually getting extremely serious. So you can see in this case, this is exactly how black could end up in trouble. For example, check, king h7, rook to b7, and black better look for a way to bail out. So the key point here, similar to a previous video I made, is watch out for the opponent's counterplay, especially if you think you're completely winning and they have no chances. So the key way that Carlson could have saved the game is to go into the rook end game, cut off the opponent's king with rook b6, push the f-pawn, and run up the king.